majority of GOP voters in Iowa and New Hampshire say the U.S. federal government shouldn't interfere with state cannabis laws. According to a survey conducted by public policy polling and paid for by Marijuana Majority, 64% of Republican voters in Iowa say states should be able to make their own cannabis laws. Only 21% say the government should enforce federal laws. Similarly, 67% of GOP voters in New Hampshire say states with legal cannabis should be left alone. In a statement, Tom Engel, chairman of Marijuana Majority, said polling was necessary for presidential candidates to understand that the voters in these key states, who they need support from to win, overwhelmingly want the next occupant of the Oval Office to scale back federal marijuana prohibition. He added that some contenders are still talking about sending in the DEA to arrest people who are following state law. And we hope these new numbers send a message to those outliers that this type of outdated drug war bullying just isn't going to score any points in 2016. The GOP candidates Angle's referring to include New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and Florida Senator Marco Rubio. At a New Hampshire town hall meeting in July, Christie warned that if you're getting high in Colorado today, enjoy it. As of January 2017, I will enforce the federal laws. Likewise, in May, Rubio told ABC News that marijuana is illegal under federal law. That should be enforced. He repeated this position last month during an interview with Meet the Press. While GOP frontrunner Donald Trump hasn't said whether he would enforce federal cannabis laws if elected president, most Republican candidates actually agree that states should be able to decide. This is currently the position of Jeb Bush, Carly Fiorina, Ted Cruz, Rick Perry, and Rand Paul. Despite this, Democratic presidential candidates Hillary Clinton and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders still claim to need more information from states that have already legalized cannabis before they can make a decision.